Hey, good morning. It's going to be a great day. Yep, I am going to have fun today. Just enjoying the blessings of God. I'm such a blessed man. Jesus is Lord, see. And I know that ultimately we prevail. The word that is in me is overcoming all the negative circumstances. And I believe the word that is in this country is overcoming the negative circumstances that's in this country. So the word's working, growing, and prevailing in my life. Let's go over here to the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, verse 1. I'm going to show you something here today. Let us therefore fear. Now, that's not fear like being scared out of your mind. Let us therefore fear, lest a promise being left us of entering into the rest, any of you should come short of it. In other words, whatever God has promised to you, you need to get it, claim it, work with it. Look at verse 2. For unto us was the gospel preached, good news, was the gospel preached as well as unto them, those people in the Old Testament, but the word did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. How do I say this? You can sit there and hear the word, but not mix faith with it and say, oh, I don't believe that. I mean, I don't believe God wants me to prosper. I don't believe God wants me to live 120 years. Or I don't believe God wants me to be satisfied with long life. You say that kind of stuff, then you're snared by your words, and you're not going to have what good news, that's what gospel is, the good news that God preached to you. Watch this. It says that the word, but the word preached did not profit them. So the word preached can be there and not profit you. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, except say it this way. Somebody give you a brand new car. I believe they will. I believe they'll give me one. I want a pickup truck, by the way. It won't profit me any good if I just sit it outside and go out there and look at it and pat it and say, Ooh, you fine. You a nice car. Thank God somebody gave that to me. And, whoa, whoa, and take pictures of it and, and put it on my program and show you how good God has been to me and how God had somebody give me a new car. Doesn't profit me at all until I take the keys, go out there and get in and start it up, drive it up the road. And I better not drive too far without getting some gas and use that which was given to me. So I want to say that again. Just because the word was preached to you and you found out with the stripes you were healed, unless you get off of that couch over there, I'm looking at my couch because it has a tendency to want to grab me and throw me down on it. Unless I get up, unless I go about my business, unless I act on my faith and believe that I received when I prayed, then I'm not going to lay around over there all day not doing anything. I'm going to believe that I'm healed and I'm going to get up and do what I want to do. Listen, the word won't profit you just because you hear it. Now, faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God, but you're going to have to act on it. You're going to have to get up, do whatever it takes, do it. Let me go back to the, to, to, to the new vehicle, whatever it is. It won't do you no good to take pictures of it and go out there and send pictures to all your friends and tell everybody how good it is. You're going to have to get in it and use it. You're going to have to start. Turn the key, start the thing, put it in gear, and go up the road and buy some gas, go on a trip, go to the beach if you want to. It won't do you any good just because you're saying, ooh, looky here, what God has done for me. No, no, no. You're going to have to act on it. You're going to have to get in there and do it. You find out that you're supposed to have a long life, then what you're going to have to do is start acting like you're going to live a long time. Now, Pat and I will have been married in a couple of more months in 55 years. Hey, but we are enjoying a romantic, really hot marriage, but I work at it. I get my Bible and sit over there on that couch sometimes, and I go through all the scriptures that I know on romance, and there's a bunch of them, and I go through all the scriptures on how I'm supposed to treat her like Christ uh, treated the church and do the things for her she needs. She meditates on the scriptures concerning our marriage, and because we do that, then we act on them. We put, the, put it in, in, in good use, and then we are enjoying, watch out now for a moment, enjoying what God wants us to have. Now listen, watch. I made this little cup of lemonade a few minutes ago. I was thirsty this morning when I got up. Don't know why. And so I made a little cup of lemonade. You know, put six little squirts of lemon juice in it, a little bit of uh, 
a stevia in it to sweeten it, some water and ice. It won't do me no good for it to be sitting over here on the floor. I got to get it and take, partake of it. Mm. Cute little ice go with Just because I made it, just because I have it, unless I partake of it, it won't quench the thirst. <laughs> That's not complicated. Just because you got a Bible, I'm looking at mine over here on this chair next to me, just because you know what the Word says, it won't do you any good unless you partake of it. I told you this a long time ago. My mom and dad passed. They were Jesus. Good, good Christian people. And they'd left the old house that I was raised in. My sister and I sold it, and I think they were somewhere around eighteen to twenty thousand dollars that we split equally between us. Well I had to go cash the check. You know, we went, um, we didn't have to read the will, wasn't big enough. And I think after I paid a bill or two and some other things, I think I had around six thousand uh, dollars left over. Well I didn't have anything I had to pay. Hold on. So I found me an old used fishing boat and I bought the thing. I still got the fishing boat after ten years I'm still enjoying the benefit of what mom and dad left me. I'm enjoying this lemonade. So you're going to have to act on what you know. You're going to have to receive what you know. And when you do that, the blessings of that word will come on you. Got to go. I believe you got that today. So until I'm with you tomorrow, Saints, remember all day. Hey, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.